Introduction The ultimate power higher intelligence definition of mastery The three phases of mastery intuitive intelligence connecting to reality the latent power within us all the evolution of mastery our primitive ancestors evolution of the human brain the ability to detach and focus social intelligence of early hominids mirror neurons thinking inside mastery of time working with the grain of the human brain connecting to our early roots keys to mastery Charles Darwin following his Inclination traits of all great masters are uniqueness and primal inclinations political barriers to mastery crumbling definition of genius the concept of mastery denigrated role of desire in mastery the danger of passivity the plasticity of the brain overview of strategies and biographical figures in the book I discover your calling the life's task you possess an inner force that seeks to guide you toward your life's task what you are meant to accomplish in the time that you have to live. The first move toward mastery is always inward learning who you really are and reconnecting with that innate force. Knowing it with clarity you will find your way to the proper career path and everything else will fall into place. It is never too late to start this process. The Hidden Force Leonardo da Vinci Keys to Mastery Examples of Masters Guided by a Sense of Destiny The Seat of Your Uniqueness Reconnecting with Your Inclinations Definition of Vocation Choosing a Vocation Finding Your Niche The Quest for Accomplishment Learn Who You Really Are Strategies for Finding Your Life's Task 1. Return to Your Origins The Primal Inclination Strategy Albert Einstein Marie Curie Ingmar Bergman Martha Graham Daniel Everett John Coltrane 2. Occupy the perfect niche the Darwinian strategy A.V. S. Ramachandran B. Yoki Matsuoka 3. Avoid the false path the rebellion strategy Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart 4. Let go of the past the adaptation strategy Freddie Roach 5. Find your way back the life or death strategy Buckminster Fuller. Reversal Temple Grandin 2. Submit to reality, the ideal apprenticeship after your formal education, you enter the most critical phase in your life a second, practical education known as the apprenticeship. Before it is too late you must learn the lessons and follow the path established by the greatest masters, past and present a kind of ideal apprenticeship that transcends all fields. In the process you will master the necessary skills, discipline your mind, and transform yourself into an independent thinker, prepared for the creative challenges on the way to mastery. The first transformation Charles Darwin keys to mastery the ideal apprenticeship defined the goal of apprenticeship as self-transformation the apprenticeship phase the three steps or mode step one. Deep observation the passive mode mute your colors observe the rules observe power relationships interpretation of Charles Darwin's story know your environment step 2 skills acquisition the practice mode gaining tacit knowledge the apprenticeship system of the middle ages the cycle of accelerated returns embracing tedium the frontal cortex and learning tasks hardwiring knowledge the magical number of 10,000 hours step 3 experimentation the active mode gradual self-assertion and experiment overcoming fears skill acquisition in the modern world relevance of apprenticeship the hand-eye connection you are a builder strategies for completing the ideal apprenticeship one value learning over money benjamin franklin albert einstein martha graham freddie roach two keep expanding your horizons zara neil hurston three revert to a feeling of inferiority daniel everett four trust the process caesar rodriguez five move toward resistance and pain a bill bradley b john keats six Apprentice yourself in failure Henry Ford 7. Combine the how and the what Santiago Calatrava 8. Advance through trial and error Paul Graham Reversal Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart Albert Einstein 3. Absorb the master's power, the mentor dynamic life is short, and your time for learning and creativity is limited. Without any guidance, you can waste valuable years trying to gain knowledge and practice from various sources. Instead, you must follow the example set by masters throughout the ages and find the proper mentor. Choose the mentor who best fits your needs and connects to your life's task. Once you have internalized their knowledge, you must move on and never remain in their shadow. Your goal is always to surpass your mentors in mastery and brilliance. The Alchemy of Knowledge Michael Faraday Keys to Mastery The Importance of Humility The Value of Mentors The Mentor Protege Dynamic Learning as Alchemy Interpretation of Michael Faraday Story Alexander the Great The Value of Personal Interaction Finding and Attracting a Mentor Famous Figures or Books as Mentors The Mentor as Father Figure When to Cut the Master Strategies for Deepening the Mentor Relationship 1. Choose the Mentor According to Your Needs and Inclinations Frank Lloyd Wright Carl Jung V. S. Ramachandran Yoki Matsuoka 2. Gaze Deep into the Mentor's Mirror Heikuen Zenji 3. Transfigure their ideas Glenn Gould 4. Create a back and forth dynamic Freddie Roach reversal Thomas Edison 4. See people as they are, social intelligence often the greatest obstacle to our pursuit of mastery comes from the emotional drain we experience in dealing with the resistance and manipulations of the people around us. We misread their intentions and react in ways that cause confusion or conflict. Social intelligence is the ability to see people in the most realistic light possible. Navigating smoothly through the social environment, we have more time and energy to focus on learning and acquiring skills. Success attained without this intelligence is not true mastery, and will not last. 
thinking inside Benjamin Franklin keys to mastery humans as the preeminent social animal the naive perspective holding us back interpretation of Benjamin Franklin's story adjusting your attitude specific knowledge reading people nonverbal communication paying attention to cues looking for common emotional experiences reading people intuitively looking for patterns the danger of first impressions general knowledge the seven deadly realities envy conformism rigidity self-obsessiveness laziness flightiness passive aggression social intelligence and creativity strategies for acquiring social intelligence one speak through your work a ignis semmelweis b william harvey 2 craft the appropriate persona teresita fernandez 3 see yourself as others see you temple grandin 4 suffer fools gladly johann wolfgang von goethe joseph von sternberg daniel everett reversal paul graham v awaken the dimensional mind the creative active as you accumulate more skills and internalize the rules that govern your field your mind will want to become more active seeking to use this knowledge in ways that are more suited to your inclinations instead of feeling complacent about what you know you must expand your knowledge to related fields giving your mind fuel to make new associations between different ideas in the end you will turn against the very rules you have internalized shaping and reforming them to suit your spirit such originality will bring you to the heights of power the second transformation Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart keys to mastery the original mind the conventional mind the dimensional mind interpretation of Mozart story the three essential steps step one the creative task altering your concept of creativity searching for the great white whale Thomas Edison Rembrandt Marcel Proust and the ultimate creative challenges the primary law of the creative dynamic finding something to rebel against remaining realistic letting go of security step two creative strategies a cultivate negative capability keats on the creative process definition of negative capability mozart and bach einstein and negative capability shakespeare as ideal faraday on humility negative capability as a tool to open the mind be allow for serendipity the brain as a dual processing system definition of serendipity william james and mental momentum maintaining openness of spirit louis pasteur and serendipity thomas edison serendipity and the recording of sound the fluid Mind serendipity strategies of Anthony Burgess and Max Ernst cultivating serendipity analog eichel thinking and Galileo C alternate the mind through the current Charles Darwin and the current definition of the current our primitive ancestors and the current short circuiting the current Buckminster Fuller and artifacts the importance of creating objects feedback loop. D alter your perspective typical patterns of thinking to alter looking at the what instead of the how avoiding shorthand focusing on the structure getting a feel for the whole the importance of relationships in science rushing to generalities and ignoring details shifting from the macro to the micro Charles Darwin and the micro study of barnacles Leonardo da Vinci's attention to micro detail in painting letting details guide you confirming paradigms and ignoring anomalies over dependence on paradigms the value of anomalies Marie Curie and the anomaly of radioactivity the founders of Google and anomalies anomalies fueling evolution fixating on what is present Ignoring what is absent Sherlock Holmes and negative cues Gowland Hopkins, negative cues, and scurvy meeting unfulfilled needs Henry Ford, negative cues, and the assembly line reversing your emotional perspective setbacks as opportunities you revert to primal forms of intelligence the intelligence of our primitive ancestors. The human brain as a multi-use instrument grammar as a limitation thinking beyond language examples of famous people who thought in images the limitations of memory using diagrams and models Schiller, Einstein, Samuel Johnson, and synesthesia step 3. The creative breakthrough tension and insight the high internal standards of masters letting go einstein letting go and the discovery of relativity richard wagner completing his opera in a dream how the brain reaches peaks of creativity blocks that precede enlightenment of arist galo is a sudden burst of genius the need for tension manufacturing deadlines thomas edison's manufacture of pressure emotional pitfalls complacency conservatism dependency impatience grandiosity and flexibility strategies for the creative active phase one the authentic voice john coltrane two the fact of great yield v S. Ramachandran 3. Mechanical Intelligence The Wright Brothers 4. Natural Powers Santiago Calatrava 5. The Open Field Martha Graham 6. The High End Yoki Matsuoka 7. The Evolutionary Hijack Paul Graham 8. Dimensional Thinking Jean-Francois Champollion 9. Alchemical Creativity and the Unconscious Teresita Fernandez. Reversal John Coltrane August Strindberg 6. Fuse the Intuitive with the Rational, Mastery All of Us Have Access to a Higher Form of Intelligence, one that can allow us to see more of the world, to anticipate trends, to respond with speed and accuracy to any circumstance. This intelligence is cultivated by deeply immersing ourselves in a field of study and staying true to our inclinations, no matter how unconventional our approach might seem to others. This power is what our brains were designed to attain, and we will be naturally led to this type of intelligence if we follow our inclinations to their ultimate ends. The third transformation Marcel Proust keys to mastery examples of master seeing more the fingertip feel a power that is mystified high level intuition the dynamic gaining an intuitive feel for the whole Jane Goodall's feel for chimpanzees Erwin Rommel's feel for battle the fusing of the rational and the intuitive mastery at 20,000 hours time as a crucial factor makes study time qualitatively rich interpretation of Proust's story the roots of masterly intuition the Amavilla wasp intuition.
and our primitive ancestors' mnemonic networks in the brain Bobby Fisher and memory traces engaging with complexity gaining a tolerance for chaos increasing memory capacity examples of high evil intuition and youthfulness the return to reality overview of evolution from the beginning the interconnectedness of all life the ultimate reality our modern renaissance returning to the whole the altered brain of the master's strategies for attaining mastery 1. Connect to your environment primal powers the Caroline Islanders 2. Play to your strength supreme focus A. Albert Einstein B. Temple Grandin 3. Transform yourself through practice the fingertip feel Caesar Rodriguez 4. Internalize the details the life force Leonardo da Vinci 5. Widen your vision the global perspective Freddie Roach 6. Submit to the other the inside out perspective Daniel Everett 7. Synthesize all forms of knowledge the universal man slash woman Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Reversal the false self the true self genius demystified your purpose in life realizing your potential.